Miami. At the start of the 21st century, a true world-class city emerged on the shore of Biscayne Bay. Growth and culture exploded, and everything, especially luxury condos, climbed to the sky, including Biscayne, the largest condo ever built on the bay. It was the high water mark of downtown's growth. Landmark towers, joined by signature condos and luxury hotels, stretched south along Biscayne Boulevard, over the river, and then down Brickell Avenue, all the way to the soaring Four Seasons Tower. But that was the past. Today, all eyes are turned north. Up Biscayne Boulevard and along the bay, where the biggest boom in Miami's history is already underway. Out on the bay, a Port of Miami tunnel will soon remove that traffic and allow expansion, while a mega yacht marina will bring in multi-million dollar yachts in the shadow of the cruise ships. A multi-million dollar beautification is transforming the bayfront parks and walks along Biscayne Boulevard. Parking lots will become skyscrapers as American Airlines Arena welcomes the next door museum park. And the magnificent Performing Arts Center will soon be joined by one of the largest resorts in North America. Genting's Resorts World will add hotels, restaurants, theaters, and a casino in a $4 billion program. Museum Park's 29 acres and $500 million will create the Miami Art Museum and Science Museum. Miami World Center adds another $4 billion worth of retail, convention center hotels, and perhaps a second casino. One Bayfront Plaza will rise higher than the Empire State Building, and just beyond is Swire City Center. The total is astounding. City Center, $1.3 billion. One Bayfront Plaza, $2 billion. Biscayne Boulevard, $43 million. Port of Miami, $600 million. Miami World Center, $4 billion. Museum Park, Five hundred million. Resource World, four billion. In all, over ten billion dollars in new bayfront development with Viscane in the middle, all coming by twenty twenty here to Miami's $10 billion mile.